In this video, we are going to see about choroid plexus. Uh, we have heard about this word choroid plexus. So, what is it? It is nothing but a tuft of capillaries or tuft of tuft of blood vessels that is present in the brain. Basically, we know brain is having continuous capillaries. So, brain at the same time, brain is also having uh, empty spaces like ventricles. Inside the ventricles, there will be choroid plexus present. So, what this choroid plexus is made up of? Let us take this is the brain substance. This is the brain substance and the innermost layer of the meninges. Meninges is nothing but the covering of the brain. There is three meninges. Dura matter, outermost, arachnoid matter, middle, mo middle one and the Pia matter innermost. Pia matter, this, this green thing is pia matter that covers the brain and this is the ventricle. Let us take this is the ventricle and this ventricle is lined by a glial cell of brain called ependymal cells. Ependymal cells. So, the ventricles are lined by ependymal cells that is nothing but a ciliated columnar epithelial cells and this ependymal cells line the ventricle and the arteries and the capillaries will enter into the ventricle and that is surrounded by ependymal cells. So, in this, this choroid, this is the structure of choroid plexus that is having pia matter, pia matter, this green one pia matter and the ependymal cells and the capillaries or blood vessels. These are the three components of choroid plexus. They are ependymal cells, pia mater and blood vessels. Otherwise, capillaries, continuous capillaries. So, here what happens is the, from the capillaries, the CSF is secreted. We know, right, brain is not having lymph, lymphatic uh, drainage. Lymph, lymph or lymphatic drainage is not present in the brain. Instead of that, CSF acts as an lymph, lymphatic uh, drainage of the brain. So, the CSF is secreted from the blood vessel through the choroid, through the ependymal cells. This, uh, from blood, some solutes and solvents will be entering into the ventricles uh, through this choroid plexus. So, this is the uh, structure of choroid plexus and the structure that is having pia matter and blood vessel. Pia matter along with blood vessel is called as tila choroide. Tila choroide. Tila choroide is nothing but pia matter along with blood vessels. So, this is the structure of choroid plexus having ependymal cells that is the glial cell of the brain and uh, blood vessel and pia matter and this choroid plexus is nothing but a tuft of capillaries present inside the ventricle of the brain. Ventricle is nothing but an empty space present in the brain and this choroid plexus is involved in the secretion of cerebrospinal fluid CSF that will be circulating in the arachnoid, subarachnoid space in the brain. Thank you.